second try. I just had an audio bug and I ran out of storage. So freed up my storage, restarted the uh, audio program. Star Citizen, what is it? I have been asked this a lot by uh, my fellow TLR members and this video is mainly aimed at them and also people who just don't know what Star Citizen is and are watching this video. Um, it will be quite a long explanation, I think. I will go over it on a dumbed-down version, but it's still a lot because Star Citizen, or the scope which is going to be, is big. Okay, basic Star Citizen. A space game with a FPS shooter attached to it at this point, with... Uh, a new build being in the th test phase, which is uh, Moon and Planetary Landings. Now, Star Citizen is crowdfunded. Um, you don't have to spend a penny more than the starting package, or the starter package, I should say. Uh, I will put up pictures of the ships which I'm talking about. Uh, the starter package will either contain... Uh, well, the basic starter package will either contain a uh, Aurora, which is a basic uh, versatile ship, and a Mustang, a bit more co uh, combat oriented, looks a bit better in my opinion, and uh, the Aurora has just been through a rework, looks a bit better, updated graphics, etc. And the uh, Mustang is going through a rework now, and is uh, looking quite decent. Um, so, uh, roles and careers to take in Star Citizen. Uh, there's six different main ones, of which being uh, main careers, I should say, uh, which are combat, transport, exploration, industrial, support, and competition. Uh, of which have certain roles, uh, above three to five roles per career. Um, roles being uh, under combat fighters, uh, kind of speaks for itself. You fly in a ship, uh, you see a pirate, shoot him down. That's a fighter. Um, or you uh, escort a uh, uh, a cargo ship, uh, which is also a bit fighter-y support thing. Um, in combat there is also interdiction, uh, which I will presume falls under bounty hunting as well as trespassers. So you interdict those tres uh, pirates crossing into uh, UEE space, which is the uh, Earth Federation, which protects a certain part of the universe. Um, and bounty hunting, having uh, dedicated ships with uh, prison pods and a bit different weaponry than normal vessels, mainly weapons to disable a uh, pirate ship or high value target ship without actually destroying or blowing up the ship and killing the target with it. Um, under combat you also have dropships. Uh, I should say that in uh, interdiction and bounty hunting you now have a new uh, Envil Hawk which is looking quite nice uh, which also has an EMP and you have a different Avenger uh, variants with the dedicated stalker with six prison pods. Uh, I I think, well, if you uh, take down uh, a pirate cutlass with four to five, six people on board and you take them all in and you bring them all to the UE prison or whatever, uh, which is the dedicated uh, Vanguard Stalker, uh, Vanguard Stalker, sorry, um, I'm thinking about dropships, uh, the uh, Stalker variant. Um, Dropships being uh, a Vanguard far variant. Uh, I think it's the Harbinger. Might be wrong on that one. Uh, which carries about six to eight people, and you drop them off 
we also have a prowler which is an alien vessel with quite a lot more room for people to sit in and you drop them off at um, locations you want to take over either uh, capital ships to drop off people to uh, kill us from the inside uh, high value ground target uh, ground base a, uh, a an, uh, fallen down capital ship which is not completely disintegrated, but has parts of it where still uh, either pirate or unlawful people are in it, so you drop people off. Uh, that being a combat variant uh, in combat, you also have bombers. Bomber, also quite self-explanatory. You uh, fly in either a stealth bomber or just a brawly bomber and you fire big ass bombs at uh, capital ships, other ships, uh, unsuspecting targets, ground targets, you name it. And then the next career role uh, being transport. Um, freight, uh, think of uh, shipping ores, uh, agricultural components, uh, medicine, etc. And you have certain dedicated vessels for that uh, of mainly uh, the whole series um, and the uh, well freelancer max which is a dedicate uh, a gutted out variant of the freelancer which is a multi-purpose ship or uh, you can take the um, cutlass black for a more well self-protective or more secure cargo because you can also have uh, more high value cargo uh, think of components for a ship which you need to ship or uh, if you are being unlawful and I will come to that and will, you're shipping illegal goods in uh, hidden compartments or you draw the uh, transport illegal goods within a covered cargo area other than the open cargo areas of a whole series with any type of cargo freighting i'd uh, highly advise having escorts of adequate size to yield of cargo so you can uh, protect yourself because uh, cargo ships are relatively unprotected you do have a couple of turrets but i think they won't be adequate enough to scare anything off more than one stray pirate so if uh, anything more comes on your tail be sure to have a couple of adequate fighters around you uh other transport section is passenger uh you will have passenger vessels uh like uh the genesis or uh, VIP people which you can transport uh, in either the Constellation Phoenix or the 890 Jump or the 600i Luxury model I think and such vessels uh, one being more luxurious than the other and luxury being also a factor in game of how uh, content people are with your servers etc uh, then you have data transport uh, for example the Herald this is a data mining ship and it will uh, transport high value information because information is also valuable uh, a cluster of high value asteroids with some high value metals which people don't know about yet which you can sell and you can sell that information but you can also steal that information from people when they discover that section of space in a herald which is uh, an info runner and then you have exploration uh, pathfinders finding uh, relatively safe paths in space uh, expedition, uh, think of uh, exploration vessel like the Freelancer Dur, uh, which is a dedicated ship, or the 300i or an 315i, I think, from Origin, or um, a 
exploration variant of the uh, basic Aurora, which will be a module, so you can do basic exploration in that. More dedicated and luxurious would be a 600i exploration, and a full-on exploration capital size ship would be the Carrack. And uh, expedition, well, uh, think of uh, finding beautiful spots on a planet or uh, not before thought big oasis or a big life part in on a planet or moon or etc which uh, can yield a good place to put your uh, landmark down or uh, claim your ground space or whatever uh, on our exploration is also general touring just touring through the universe flying across mountains canyons uh, through asteroids uh, through caves whatever uh, it's, it's also going to be beautiful just you know sightseeing uh, another career a path you can take is industrial uh, under which mining uh, mining asteroids gas clouds um, planet side mining uh, with the prospector or bigger mining ships uh, salvage think of vessels that have been shut down after a big fight or a crashed vessel and you come with your reclaimer and you pick up the parts and bits that make up that ship and maybe there are some weapons that haven't completely disintegrated which you can sell again and a shield generator for example and the other raw materials well you just chew them up and you smelt them into raw ore which you can sell again um, industrial also has science you can discover new materials they said or uh, better configurations of certain stuff or discover new uh, crops which also follows into the next next industrial part which is agriculture you will be able to um, grow crops on the planet side and which uh, which crop will depend on the ground type which planet how far from the sun what type of sun uh, going into the endeavor which is really big ship modular ship uh, you'll be able to grow uh, more exotic crops and might be able to grow more uh, illegal crops uh, of those drugs which i uh, talked about at the beginning with uh, freight so you can uh, grow drugs which will be high yield but high risk as well um that covering agriculture a bit and industrial uh, then on to support you have a medical section with uh, dedicated ships like the uh, uh, Cutters Red uh, or the again the Endeavour with a, a medical bay. Any capital ship will also have a medical bay, although maybe not as dedicated and big as the modular part for the Endeavour. Um, to either heal or revive or claim back uh, a person um, under support there's also refueling think about the uh, starfarer for example which is a big support ship which will carry around fuel so if you're going on an expedition with a couple of fighters which are relatively short range and small but really maneuverable and uh, high weapon to body mass ratio uh, you can still fly across great distances in space if you have a refueling tanker alongside you. Um, I think the Starfarer will also be able to uh, mine certain or gather uh, the gas of gas clouds in space. Uh, another support role is repairs. I think about a crucible. Uh, you have a, a big battle going on and a crucible is uh, sitting on the si sideline somewhere uh, a couple of thousand kilometers out and uh, you're engaged and you only barely won that engagement so you just uh, quantum jump to the crucible uh, you park your vessel in it you uh, 
mount a new wing and a new weapon and you patch your weapon up, uh, you patch your engines a bit, might not be as durable as a dedicated uh, repair station, but it will get you back in the fight so you uh, won't lose as many uh, numbers. You can keep on fighting and win the battle. Uh, another support role is uh, reporting. Again, the Herald or the uh, Hornet Tracker uh, flying in front of uh, an escort of freight, for example, and uh, noticing uh, an ambush or uh, another dangerous part of space and uh, coming up with a detour or uh, to go on uh, in it with only the fighters, for example, to clear the route and uh, get your freight through it. And then you have competition, under which racing, uh, think about uh, the M50 or the uh, racing variant of the Mustang, which is going to be space racing or around asteroids or just above land. Uh, then you also have uh, racing with hover bikes. Think about the Nox or the Dragonfly or the uh, X1 from Origin. Uh, and you have land racing with dedicated land vehicles. Think about the new uh, Cyclone RC. Uh, drag racing. Coming up with the uh, best uh, CU, ECU tune of your engine to get the most out of it to see who can reach uh, 1200 meters a second the fastest for example um, all that good stuff uh, that covering uh, the different career roles which you can take um, I will show uh, what more we have uh, so you have the general universe Right now, uh, testing 3.0, which I said is uh, planetary landing, moon landing, some cargo, and testing. Emphasis on testing, by the way. Uh, it's being stress tested right now, uh, ironed out, bug fixed, uh, netcode fixing, etc. Uh, you have a first person shooter module, uh, Star Marine, which is uh, quite good to be honest. Uh, better than any Call of Duty ever. <laughs> already in this stage. Um, arena Commander. In which you have multiplayer, uh, just you uh, and four randoms against five other randoms. Or you set up a uh, small squad and you go against a couple of randoms or another squad. Uh, single player to test fly some ships. And then you have private, like, um, 1v1 me, bro, I'm better than you. Um, or my loadout is better than yours, bro, let's fight it out. Or if you have a um, two rivaling organizations who don't want to put their ships at stake, so you just go into a private match and fight it out there over uh, who can have the asteroid with the uh, high-value ores, for example. So they just fight it out quite privately with five of their best fighters and whoever comes out alive or with the best score wins so you don't have to uh, put your ship and your insurance and your money at stake which is quite a smart way to go about it I think if uh, countries nowadays would do that then we have uh, a lot less casualties but I don't want to get political here um, and you actually have uh, leaderboards and chip customization to uh, change loadouts this being extremely bugged at this moment, but it's not the main focus of this patch. And in the universe, you have a Crusader, which is a big gas giant, and you spawn on Port Odysar, which I will show in the next video, because this video will be enough work as is. And you have uh, hangars, in which you can uh, view ships.